Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. So this is actually my patient. Um, now this is a patient that comes through quite regularly. Taylor saw this patient uh, about three or four months ago. And this patient has to come through on this real kind of cycle every every sort of three, four months thereabouts because they get this really big buildup of skin. Now this skin here is this this tough skin, this keratinous skin. Uh, and we talked earlier about the, the migration process yes. of, uh, of the skin of the ear canal um, and those epithelial skin cell layers and having this bit of keratin inside. Well, these are, this is really, really hardened up skin. So I want you to imagine like tough leather skin, but in strips and tightly packed mm. together. So. Yeah, ve very, Keratosis obturans. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> That's not a word, but uh, <laughs> it is now. Right? It is now. <laughs> it is. It, it's like almost like the precursor. This would this yeah. would be sort of very early stages of it, and then you get uh, a bit later on there as this really really hardens up. I would say that's more the, the classic keratosis yeah. obturans you see, isn't it? But um, I would use various tools in here. And the reason for that, we use the onion analogy a lot when we talk about these kind of skin issues where all the layers are tightly packed together. So we've got to strip each layer out at a time. So we use suction first yeah. just to loosen everything. And yeah. then we can pull these individual layers out then with the forceps then. So this is the fine jaw forceps you can see in here. So I'm seeing we're getting some... Uh getting some good movement from this, uh, good. from this skin. It's not breaking apart. No, which is always handy. It's good chunky bits. And at the back end there, that's the fresher skin, isn't it? That, that looser, wetter skin. Um, yeah. And that's just what's kind of pushing and building up on that, yeah. that drier section at the front. And when we talk about, we, we, talk, we were talking here about the fine jaw forcep, it's, this type of skin can sometimes be, a, it's kind of nemesis really, isn't it? It's not as easy to pull through. Like tears through the center sometimes. Um, the, the wider, um, <coughs> excuse me, guys, the wider jaw forceps would be a bit easier for this type of skin, but I don't personally like using them, to be no. honest. I, I, vision is, is not as good, yeah. I find, anyway. It's not, and, and especially <laughs> when you've got like, this lazy ear canal, is actually the entrance is quite narrow, yeah. so it's a little bit more difficult to, 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 get, to, to get that out there especially when you're using a wider jaw forcep, you're going to block your view, so it's going to be uh, a little bit more difficult to do. But it's looking a lot clearer in there now. We talk about these, the skin migration, this epithelial yeah. migration from the, from the ear canal, from the, the sort of the, the, the medial to the lateral portion of the ear canal, um, about three mil a month, where you could see just how much came out there in a short space of sort of three months. That is a lot. So this is almost like an overproduction of skin mm. in the ear canal, this yeah. one. Um, a little bit wetter on this side as well. While we're just going through this one, I did mention I had some personal news I couldn't tell you about until I had permission to tell you about it. Um, I've got permission, so I can tell you exactly what's going on. I've been off the last couple of days because um, mine and Mrs. Reed's lovely daughter, Molly, and her partner, Jake, have just had a baby. So we have now officially become grandparents, the very handsome, very pink and very squishy Toby uh, arrived uh, yesterday. Actually, we I, I got well day before yesterday. I got to see him yesterday for the first time. I get to have a little cuddle today. Aww. So fingers crossed. I get to the see best we're feeling. Gonna, we're going to see him later on. I have good grandcha snuggles with uh, with, uh, with Toby later on. Um, congratulations, thank guys, you and congratulations thank to you. you very as well. much. Yes, congratulations yes, to Molly and Jake. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. Congratulations to you. As well. oh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we, that's that's the reason I've been off for the last uh, couple of days. Great news. Uh, we're super duper thrilled all healthy all good uh so yes i will keep you posted about little baby toby and uh, and let you know how we go with him as well but i do get to have nice and nice snuggles it's the best feeling it is anyway right i've got Let's off topic to anyway, so we go back to the wax <laughs> robot so you can see now we've got uh this well the my teeth in now. I've lost my train of thought. I'll complete you now. Uh, Juggling your teeth. It was, here we go. Uh, that's what it was saying. Say we were talking about these layers of skin uh, inside the ear canal. What you can see here, this is a really classic look uh, where you get these these sort of layers of built up. So we get that really soft under layer and slightly harder layers. So we get to the middle ones. These are the oldest bits of skin. And they're yeah. tough, tough old layers on the outside there. But look how it peels. Yeah, you can see it's like darker in the center, the harder material, and then you've got yeah. that newer, whiter, sort of fresher skin on the outer edge yeah. which is just kind of that's what's building up and that's what's causing this issue with this particular patient 
And you, uh, oh, sorry, go on. No, I, 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 I don't know what I was going to say, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we do find, I was going to say, with these, you do tend to switch tools a lot because the consistency of the skin changes so much, doesn't it, between these layers. And suction's great, and you can get a really good grip with suction, but the difficulty is when these layers are hard and they're stood almost vertically, yep. it's really difficult to get that, that real suction grip. And believe me, guys, the skin holds on like Billy oh, It does not want to come away, does it, these kind of things? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's perfect when it's slightly softer so that the larger, the standard size Zolna tube can, can, as it starts gripping the front section of the skin, you tend to see it start folding into the tube and you get a much better grip. Yeah. And that's where you see us start doing all these wiggling motions to try and uh, detach the skin from the ear canal. This, I mean, fair play, this lady, she was lovely. She was 94 years old uh, and uh, what an absolute star she was. She was so trooper. good. Yeah, a trooper, a, trooper. a diamond. A diamond. <laughs> if, if you played all the old Jesus's bingo, you probably got a full house right now. <laughs> it, yeah. it was tough as old boots. Tough as old boots. I don't think anything else. Trooper, yeah, trooper. Yeah, I think we've done them all now. I think that's what I guess you a lot. Uh, so it's coming away really, really well. We've got this, this deeper section here. This is the fresher skin. We know we're getting to that last couple of layers now uh, because we've got this change in consistency of the skin. But look at that coming away. That it's is a nice piece. It is a good, good piece of skin. And there's the ah, eardrum. Perfect. Came away perfectly. It came as well. away really well. <laughs> Sometimes you can leave left these little lifts in there. That's a real difficult one to remove, isn't it? Uh, come on, you're the inch king. What's that? Oh, wow. Uh, what have we got there? Uh, two, two, and a qu two and three quarters oh, inches. Well two and three quarter inches. Uh, yeah, I go along with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven centimeters worth of skin in there, guys. I mean, there was very little wax mixed in with that. That was just purely, purely skin. It's quite surprising for three months yeah Spare, that's very, a very lot isn't it up, yeah. how much is built up in that yeah. length of time uh, well guys thank you very much for watching our video today I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did voicing over don't forget you can always subscribe to the channel uh, you can like you can heart you can follow you can do all those things for me that would be absolutely fantastic uh, and as always guys take care of yourselves take care of your ears and take care of one another and we'll both see you again real soon bye everyone bye